another day of Hogwarts Legacy initializing now. Thanks for coming in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you soon. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Well, it did, and here we are. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Well, we're obviously gonna go and like poke some fun around some of these loyalists. Perhaps we can avoid detection. We deal blows. I like going in hot and heavy, so we deal blows. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. Yes. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Tobru. After you. Sure, you shouldn't have, but you know where the mine is. Weird. Um. Ooh, moonstone. Moonstone, moonstone. Very nice. Oh. I think I've been here before. There they are up ahead. Have I I'll not been here lead. before? Give it. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Okay. Can bring up. An That's not what I Hit him head first, hit him hard. What's that? That sounded more so like gunshots, which would be. This is weird. going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Where are these guys? Uh, just some like lookout buddies? Okay. Once again, we could fight our way through, or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Oh my god! Too
Oh really? Because it looks like I just did. Is there anything Rebellion. else? I hear you. Where are you? Oh, hey. What's that? Who's there? And the fun is over. Yeah. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> Perhaps it is. we can find an alternate route up ahead. Relatively fun. Sneaking around has its appeal. Right, but just going in and just effing it up. It's not my jam. I like to go in there and just get her done. You know what I mean? Very nice. For better or for worse, we're in. Let's do it. Couldn't bring up. No! Bombarda. Oh! This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Let's go. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Great. Such a nasty, nasty combination. How many of Ranrock's loyalists are in here? <sighs> Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Yo, I bet all of my slots are full. Oh, that's probably gonna be necessary here in a sec. Might as well let's put it there. That ledge is awfully high. Couldn't bring up any ideas. Yeah, we'll move that stuff in a second. Interesting. There's a chest in here. Some landscape paintings. Very okay. A little some some for the room, you know. Wingardium Leviosa. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got it. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Oh, Repairer. Very nice. That'll be useful later. Let me through. Okay. That was a dead end. Why does it look like there's a tunnel right here? Maybe we're just not ready for that yet, or is that the tunnel that we came into? Oh, that just loops back around. Let's not do that. 
All right, so we go up here. Go over the bridge we just reconstructed. And boom. This is gonna be great. Nice. Rebellion. Anything else? Good thing from here. Nice. Right? Well, we're making quick work of them. Yeah. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Is there more spiders? Kundringo! Bombarda! Nice. Money. Uh, right. I thought there was two, but apparently there was only one. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Yay. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> one less human to worry about.
Not a bad chap. For a Slytherin. For a Ravenclaw, you certainly have a lot to learn. A so, rune symbol. Revelio, above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Confringo! Can we ask for a smooth? All right. Collect everything that we can. Rebellion. It's going in well. That's going to be for us I to wouldn't get up be there. I to find a couple more rune symbols. Wingardium Leviosa. That should make it so we can get up there. Yeah. These rooms must be connected. So wasn't expecting that. Did it open? It did open. <clears throat> cool. We're going deeper and deeper. Blue flooded back to me as watery haze. How long? An unconscious. Of sorrow, yes, but also I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish. But then everything started to turn when I fell. I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing, and only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. I hope so. Another passageway. We should search the room first. Yeah. Revelio. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Check on Sebastian. Hey, buddy, you doing okay? Mentally, physically? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. <clears throat> but if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now... For the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Yeah. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Oh, yeah. We had this passageway right here. This one. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. If not, we're gonna make it, right? Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Interesting. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. 
It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A goblin friend. Well, we're not gonna tell him because he said the less people that know, the better. So let's protect him. Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? That was very ignorant of you to say. That was cruel. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. That's fine. You'll message me later. And we'll go on that adventure. But patience is a virtue, my friend. So... Yup. Alright. Quests. Shadow of the Mind. Promotion's house call. Talk to Poppy. Shadow of Time. I recently now from Sebastian telling me he has a need of a relic that can help. And so see all of a sudden you want that you get Imperio from that. Imperio Alright, so we're gonna give Sebastian a little breathing time because he needs a little time out. Let's see if we can do this battle. Where is Wobby in our map? She is over here, which is nice. Shortcuts. Hey, Poppy. Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. Yeah, we kind of And did, now really. another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Oh, no. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. All right, we're gonna get to cycle through these. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Sounds fun. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. Oh. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where oh, exactly wait. are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. 
From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to nope. stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. Well, we had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, oh, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Let's go talk Sounds to Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. That was, that was it? Um, okay. Ugh. Travel all the way over here for almost nothing. Nice. I think we have a marker. Where's the golden marker? No? Wow. Wow. Yo, there is so much to this game. Holy cow. I feel like I've only been in this small little area. Um, quests. Speak to the portrait of Professor Murder for Shadow in the map chamber. Oh, interesting. Um, should we do Sky's the Limit first? Versus a broom upgrade from Abu Weeks. But I need to save up for a pondering table. And the remaining house tokens. Um, Alright, so let's go learn Imperio. It's all part of the adventure. You gotta run all the way out there. Nice little jog out in the wilderness during the winter time. Supposed to go this way? Is there a path? There was. Confringo! Bombarder! So much going on. Confringo! Bomb 
Revelio. What's this? Oh, this is gonna be part of that Merlin trial. Thousand percent. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Mm. You're here. Good. Yeah, you cooled off now, bro. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. That is true. Let's go. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. Nope. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. And, and he should be. Answering the idea of doing more than I imagined, learning about our ancestors and eliminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. The area behind the great room had this K admin and turned over a stream. I discovered an armor shaped relic. Oh, I immediately sensed its power. I should be thrilled to study the relic further. Only the removal of objects were allowed. Okay. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Bombarda! At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And Rebellion! The, rest of the tomb will be insect free. Uh, yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio! Opening all of these is tempting. Rebellion! Accio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Room is taller than it looks. Okay. Huh. 
We got him at the other side. Jump up, so let's see what that is. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Well, you know, some of us like to decorate with new stuff. So, that will go nicely in our room of requirement. Thank you. Gear slots are bow. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Let's go. Repel. Confringo. Bombarda. Crucial. This grass then no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Revelio. Well, this was a dead end. Okay. That's unfortunate. We are going this way. Nope, this is where we were before. Oh, wait. We need to go over here. Down this way. Now, this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. <laughs> Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Well, I don't want to really open up that one. Akio! in the corner. That's money. Interesting. There's something here by the altar. I should mention the relic report. I was reminded to leave it where I lay, but research must come before the five fealty. I said something about this relic. I told you. 
I told that those chosen by you which are wands of power to do what I believe. But no one is looking at it in contrary to barricades. To isolate the relic ancestors, forgive me, but I use the word. Turn it, but first. What did you find? And we should probably leave things alone. We're not Looks like out. part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Let's do it. Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. So I wonder... If this archway's been barricaded, Prepare. we can find a way through. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Wingardium Leviosa. Are they coming? Accio! Wingardium Leviosa. Found more skeleton. Those there. Reference. There was something else in here. Lots of bounds. What are we doing here? Find a way through the barricade. We got in Leviosa. The Bolsa. Wingardium Leviosa. Compulsor. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Uh oh. Wingardium Leviosa. Got him. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Gross. Nice. 
Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. Let's it's an it. unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Of course. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Two options here. Oh, that one is blocks, but Can we get the pulse up. The only Imperial curse is pretty much badass. Is there something there? Yeah. Money. I mean, this is where we were, was it not? This was this. Here we go. Confringo! This seems more like it. Never 
spiders can make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite annoying too. All right, so. Can bring up. Accio. Money. Hey, I guess we just crawl through there. Do, do, do. Revelio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. All that for gear slots just be I am so annoying. Alright, so we have discovered this. We went through that one. That's blocked off. It's the only way to go is this way. Was the relic in here? Turn out the money. Rebellio. This is gonna be it. Rebellion. There's nothing else in there. Another barricade. Uh -huh. Considering how well you did on the so last one. Guardian Leviosa. Cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. Depolta. I try. Wingardian Leviosa. Depolta. Accio.
Revelio. Accio. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Revelio. Accio. Puzzle for show. Okay, so for Rebellion. this one, which is the one I want, I need the circle and the squiggly. There's the circle. Where's the Z squiggly? There it is. Alright, so. Pull this. And then pull this. That worked. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Huh? Wingardium Leviosa. Depulso. Rebellion. Triangle. Circle. Accio. Get it? Rebellion. Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nice. Revelio. Head and shoulders shampoo. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Yeah, it just keeps going deeper, bruh. Times here. Prepare us. Confringo. Paleo. Confringo. Protego. Stupid one. Bombada. Confringo. Confringo. Stupid one. Confringo.
Kringle. For a moment there, I thought that would never end. Yeah. Me too. Me too, buddy. Revelio. Are there any things that we can pick up? Is there any money? We're a poor broke college Hogwarts students that needs a dual palting Dead end. chamber. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Well... Akio. Extra money. Rebellion. Really like to examine your potential, if that's what it's been. It's your guide of the world. But the dark sacrifice involves realizing the need to no more. Please do not remove this relic. Oh. Okay. Sebastian! The relic! Look! Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. We should leave that relic alone. Uh... The note dark, advises so. to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. Well, this is going to be so the much sounds fun. Sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Very well, let's talk to Sebastian. I cannot side with you. Sebastian is right. <laughs> Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperio? Yes. That's precisely what I'm suggesting. That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I, 
sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. I mean, this is like a straight shot back, huh? Maybe not. Shirt. Hey, what was that? Oh. Okay. Here? Is this a dead end? But I'm at a dead end. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperial on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that has to dramatic changed. music makes me think that as soon as he takes this relic out of here, something big's gonna happen, so... Let's kinda... see what's gonna happen next. How long would the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. Forever. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb, just as we did. He'll be alright, Sebastian. Oh, nice to see you here. Ah, isn't the sea air refreshing? Look at all these baddies right over here. Apparently, we're not going to cross paths. Take a left. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. What, you mean like killing a bunch of spiders? She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. You don't have to explain to me, bro. I'm not gonna, you know, throw you under the bus or anything. Just... Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. <laughs> Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Let's get up. Can 
gonna happen. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. I mean... What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did the right thing. It may have been the wrong choice. I mean, he did save his sister, so I mean, I feel like you did what you had to do. That. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Yeah, get out of here. Repair one. Yeah, I'm gonna help out. So. Hey guys, let me just save your life. Sorry about that. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian saved his sister. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. She knows I did it right in front of her. Why, Sebastian? Approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Okay. Hogwarts is just so beautiful, man. So comment down below if you know if they put the Christmas stuff in it just because it's Christmas time or not. Let me know. Speak with my uncle. I did. He I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. 
If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions. A box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. So we just really can't trust anyone. So this is going to be fun. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. No problem, I'll send you an hour when I have news.